Good right by Gelawa. That shook Padua. Goes in with the left. Didn't quite connect properly. Good left by Padua. You know, they've exchanged a couple of really good shots, these two fighters. Yeah, both of them. Both of them, yeah. Round number five. You know, Padua takes the punches but keeps coming forward. But, but there lies the problem, I think, Ron. No? There is no, there's not enough distance between him and Stephen Gelawa, considering the height and the reach advantage. That means every punch that he throws is not thrown, that does not hit at the end of his punch. So yung, yung, yung intensity, no? yung power ng punch, hindi, kulang eh, hindi sa dulo eh. So patulak ng patulak yung kanyang mga patama. While Stephen Gelawa, that's his distance. So every time he connects, he connects with power. Slugging it out here. Hindi nga boxing to. Bakbakan talaga. Pag nadikit, batuhan na lang na suntok. You know, that's brought about by the the strategy that Stephen Gelawa is following. He just wants to swarm all over Dennis Pado. You know, there's no time in between. When uh, Freddy Australia backs them uh, away from each other, he moves forward quickly and closes that distance. Pinamana naman si Padua. Body shot by uh, Stephen. Good luck by Gilawa. Oh, you know, dikit na dikit masyado kay Gilawa. Hindi makagalaw. Walang leverage and movement yung uh, si Dennis left. Padua. Two good lefts by Gilawa. Short with the right. Overhand right and a left hook by Gilawa. Good punches, solid blows. I think Pad was feeling the, the punches of Stephen already. Alam na niya kung gano'n siya kabigat. No? Final 10 seconds of the round. Gilawa had the better of the exchange in this round for sure. Some of the slow-mo action of that previous round, that was a good left by Gilawa. Another good left straight, another left straight. Three good punches by Steven in a row. But, but that's the funny thing, partner. No? He's the shorter fighter. Yeah. Pag nakasabayan ng job, siya ang kumukonekta. Hindi itong si Dennis de Padua. And he's made Joe, but he looks tired. Looking at him in the corner, Steven Jalawa looked a little tired. But we're going to round number six. Let's see. He's Sabi nga nila, no? 12 rounds ito. So let's see what's going to happen. Well, he's going after Padua. Padua trying to connect with the right uppercut. Then he's a clubbing right hand. While with the left. Ah, oh, left hook. Another left by Gilawa. Nothing One, two, combination. Body shots by Gilawa. Padua is desperately clinging on. And for the Australia earning his keep tonight. He's got to be on top of this. Very soft job by uh, Padua. There's that uppercut.
<laughs> you think that the crowd is not interested, no? but at that moment, yeah. <laughs> the reaction in the lato, everyone's just watching silently. No? What's then happening suddenly when this, they uh, explode, right. the crowds also explode. Too much holding. Yeah, but that's my point, Kanina. Pa, eh. Bakit nakakahawak ng matagal ito si Stephen? Eh, you have a very, very tall fighter who can actually fight from a distance and not allow these moments. No, but Stephen has been holding. Gelao has been using that to his advantage. Good left by Padua. Gilawa missing with that one two combination. left by Gilawa. You mentioned a while ago, Ron, that uh, Gilawa was tiring. Yeah. I think even Padua now. Padua is also now really tiring. tiring. End of the round. What is action in this fight? No question about it.